How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to House Hat Bo Oh, wait a minute. This ain't House Hat Bowling. No, sir. This is Bowling We World. are House Hat Bowling, but this is the Bowling World's YouTube channel. You know, I've gotten a lot of the comments that I've seen from the YouTube channel being like, where are those house hat guys at? They're tired of watching Patrick throw the ball. Even though he's two-handed, he probably has like a, a rev rate of like 317. And he's left-handed. Left here we are though, house hack bowling. What's up guys? Yeah, so today we are here to talk about, and Matt's gonna review and throw the DV8 Diamond Diva. Diamond. I didn't actually throw the ball, so I'm gonna let you do most of the talking. What'd you think of the ball? Overall, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Pretty impressed with it, honestly. So, first impressions? I guess I anticipated it to not be as strong as it was. Like, I knew the Divas were strong. It's been a long time since I've thrown a Diva, obviously. Mm -hmm. The ball's a little stronger than I anticipated, honestly. So you never had any of the previous Divas? I never had them, but I've thrown them. Okay. I know there was like, what, four or five of them or something like that, well, I say. Well, there was a few. I think yeah. There was a Glam, too, yeah. which yeah. featured which some of the Which is kind of within the, yeah. So this is like the first time they've brought back the Diva name in a while. Yep. So yep. there definitely was like a lot of like, uh, expectations yep. a lot of people were excited to see it i'll be honest with you they did do a good job with the colors the ball definitely has an excellent shelf appeal yeah so you tell me you're a fan of the pink and black diamond i am i am i think it looks pretty good now that we've talked about one of the more important things judging a ball by it looks mm -hmm. let's talk about how it rolls like i was saying it's a little bit stronger than what i anticipated overall i, I really do like it i think it rolls really well it definitely gives you it gives me the length that I would look for when they're hooking a little bit mm -hmm. or you know what you know when they're hooking a little bit early something that I can actually get the ball down the lane mm -hmm. um, and still I mean I've even started with it like mm -hmm. I've started you know and thrown it three games and it, it just it lasted I mean it held up I just keep moving left like I like to do and mm -hmm. it rolls really well I like yeah. it yeah I've noticed that you've had the ball for a few weeks now and that's basically all you've thrown Progression-wise, how does it work? I don't know that it's something that I could start with all the time because, you know, the the shot, the house shot that we bowl on, you know, I feel like I need something a little bit stronger to start with. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, Tuesday night, threw it in league, started out throwing my speed, and I threw that ball the last game, and it was perfect. Okay. I was able to stay close to the same spot. I moved just a little bit farther right. You know, just got up the back of the ball and it it, it pushed through the burn, mm -hmm. turned over, perfect. The core is the Diva 2.0. Cover stock is the Insider it Max the insider. Flip. Yep, yep, yep. Hybrid reactive. And I am reading this on a phone because I've said this many times in past ball reviews, even like I think the 3D offset video that I did last time I was on this channel. The people who memorize this stuff, I don't get it. Yeah, I there's, can't memorize it. There's way, there's way too much information yep. and all of it kind of blends together after a while. That ball is also finished off with 500, 1,000, 1,500 Sierra with Crown Factory Compound. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not really shiny out of the box. Like it's got that sheen to it, but you can definitely tell that it's there's a good bit of surface underneath the polish. Did you leave at box? Did you change anything? So it was at box um, for the first couple weeks. Uh, what you will see in the video, I did throw the ball at box. Mm. Um, all I did was cleaned it. Okay. But um, I actually have adjusted the surface a little bit. Um, I just put a straight 4,000 on it with no polish. Mm. Um, and I feel like it made it a little smoother. Because, uh, you know, some, I mean, you know, I have a higher rev rate. So things tend to come off the spot a little harder than, than it does for most people. Um, but. Yeah, I, I changed it just a little bit, but for, but for what you'll see in the video, it's a uh, box. It's also great to know that we should also mention that the RG of this ball is 2.495. That it is. With a differential of 0 0.51. Yep, 0 0.51. Now, is there anything else you want to say about this ball? Obviously, the ball has excellent shelf appeal. Not super bright colors, but it looks really well. Yep. I do really think, though, that I think DV8 did a really good job of bringing the Diva back with this ball. I do think a lot of people are gonna like it. I think a lot of people are gonna be able to throw it. I mean, that's, that's really about all I'm excited about it. All right, cool. I think that's basically, we've mentioned everything we could, figured after this, yeah. we'll let Patrick have the YouTube channel back. Yeah, I guess we'll have to give it back to Patrick, but yeah. yeah. Um, but shout out to Bowling World uh, for letting us do the review. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked the footage.